for so long, for so many people, that was the end of the story of Jewish life in Poland. And you, by being here, are making a statement and changing history. Because we are able to do something that those 75 years ago weren't able to do, which is to leave Auschwitz-Birkenau as free, proud Jews. When we come together from literally the four corners of the earth, when we could do that, then we make the impossible happen. When I first heard about the events, I thought it actually was a little strange. A bike ride from this place of horrible sadness and death? Uh, but then I learned more about it, and I think it's an excellent way to raise awareness about the horrors that happened at Auschwitz, and also to feel the hope that comes out of Krakow. Riding away from it, you're riding towards life. I'm the child of Holocaust survivors, and it's a, a very personal thing for me that I'm coming here not to deal with tragedy. We came as a family of six. Uh, it was our 30th wedding anniversary. My husband and I decided together that this is something we wanted to give our children because we wanted to have this experience together. It was unbelievable for me to ride side by side the superstar cyclist, Greg Lamont, through the France champion. The glitter in your eyes and the, the enthusiasm in your voice to be a part of a community. I would encourage everyone I know to participate in Ride for the Living. It's a, a unique experience um, that has taught us so much about the rebirth of Jewish life in Krakow. Coming in with Marcel 73 years afterwards, and I'm thinking about him as a 10-year-old kid, um, to be able to finish here 73 years later, in this environment where it's, it's happiness and joy, it was really a magical ride. I really loved it. I don't know if I'll ever be an ambassador, but I will definitely be an ambassador for this ride.